Hi friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> I make a juice today on my gentle juice fasting day. I do that once a week. I drink all the juices or other beverages, water, whatever it, I, I like, I drink, it doesn't matter. The only thing is I have to take the fiber away from my food. That means I filter it through nut milk bag or through juicer and out comes pure energy that goes directly into the bloodstream. No digestion. Digestion rest. It has so many benefits. I do it once a week. It's always great fun because I have a lot of juice that is delicious and rich in energy, but um, my digestion rests and it turns everything around. Of course, I have less calories on that day. That's the definition of fasting. Uh, it begins with the reduction of calorie intake for 24 hours at least. That's a medical definition. And then the body begins to digest its fat. And a different kind of um, um, energy production takes place. And that is cleansing. Cleanse, the body cleanses itself. Detoxification. Yeah. And also mentally, there is a self-reflection takes place. I think about things that um, I don't think about on regular days. Uh, I correct myself. I watch myself. Yeah, who I am. Yeah. What could I change? And so it's a, it's a nice time to um, reboot the system, as they say. I do it once a week, and that is an easy way because longer times with more drastic measures uh, can cause medical problems. When I do it gentle and that means I always want to feel great, there's no problem because uh, if I feel bad, for example, I quickly eat something or I have a smoothie with a little bit of fiber or a soup or something that makes me feel better. So I don't want to feel bad because feeling great means the energy flows inside and I heal myself. But when the energy blocks, I feel bad, I don't heal anymore and that's I don't want that. I want the fasting being a positive effect on my body and mind. Yeah. So, it's in quick explained, yeah, very easily explained what, what fasting is to me and um, how to do it properly, yeah, with no, with no problem, no risks. Um, so, and I uh, also feel more intensely, so I have the opportunity to make new recipes because when I make a new recipe, I have to feel the flavor and also the feel the nutrients in my system. What it does to me, when I feel more intense, I can better understand what a recipe is like. Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, does it taste well? Is it great or mm, okay? Yeah, that's a nice opportunity. It makes me also more creative. So today I make a beet juice. That is a classical juice of mine. I love beet juices. Here I have red beet. Uh, a small, two small beads, red beads here have to have. You have a medium bead. Doesn't need that much. Bead is very powerful, and beet juice alone is a magic. Is, is a magic because it enhances endurance. If you drink beet juice, for example, two hours before your workout, you can have more endurance. The science fact. So beet juice is powerful. So I combine the juice uh, with a pear. That is my first classical beet juice. Um, Putting a pear to a beet makes a beet really delicious. Yeah, yeah some pears. Yeah. And um, it's interesting, you drink a beet on its own, it scratches in the throat because there's something in the beet that um, makes this scratching. It's an oxalate, it's not another topic, it's not so important. But if you put a pear to it, it all of a sudden tastes nice. The scratching is not there anymore. And that's good. Um, so I use this pear beer juice as a base and add other juices to it, yeah, other ingredients. Take for example, another thing that is very nice with pear is parsley. You gotta try that, really. The combination of pear and parsley seems to be really ideal. This is parsley, a bunch of parsley. And I have a lot of pears as you saw. And um, this is a very perfect flavor combination. So that's why I'm going to try it with a pear beet juice. Yeah? Pear beet parsley juice. I never made that before. And I combine it with celery. Yeah, Celery is something like a seasoning. 
Um, it's a very um, healthy vegetable. It's a stalk, you know, celery stalks. Yeah? And I have two only, not too much. It's a very strong flavor. It's a little bit salty, a little bit smoky flavor. And I found, usually you know, celery in the classical, traditional kitchen is used to make broth. You know, in every broth, here in Germany at least, they put celery in there, lots of celery. And that gives a little bit of salty flavor. And uh, well, I know celery forever, but I really don't use it that much. Since recently, I, knew, I found that if you have a little bit of um, celery uh, with juice, juice, for example, it gives a nice smoky touch. It can also be a seasoning in this kind of cooking, uncooking. So I try this and I had some very nice results. Yeah, the smoky flavor there is really a little bit salty and smoky. Very nice, but not too much. It's very strong. Of course, it's super healthy, yeah. And wonderful nutrients in there. And so, okay, I have this combination and I add one more, an apple, to give a little bit more balance to it because I have very strong greens here. The parsley and the, the, the celery are very strong and effective greens with a strong flavor too. And the pear would maybe a little bit, bit too little, so I add one more apple. There's three small apples here um, to balance um, this very strong celery flavor. Yeah. So I have a pear beet juice with a parsley and a celery apple um, refinement yeah, to add something new and I will f see what this tastes like. And another element here to refine, to boost the uh, already flavors already there is lemon and ginger. This is a pairing I use um, in many, many recipes, um, uh, lemon and ginger. They are balancing each other and it adds heat and sourness. And the sour enhances the sweet flavors and the heat um, boosts all these flavors together. Ginger is a miracle uh, in the kitchen. I can use it in very many recipes and it also has a very healthy, thousands of health benefits in a ginger. Really is um, worth using it and adds a fire aspect. It makes it warm. Very nice. So lemon and ginger is very nice as a combination together. It doesn't add so much an own flavor. The flavors are set here with a set um, with the celery and the um, pear and the beet and the parsley and the apple. That's the flavor. And the, the, um, the lemon and the ginger enhances these flavors, makes it stronger, more expressive. And maybe I will add some of the peel here on the lemon. Not too much, you know. Here I have some of the peel. I cut the peel. And if you take too much, it tastes very strong and you can't drink the juice anymore. Uh, maybe you can, but it wouldn't be so pleasant to me. So I, I, but a little bit of the flavor uh, of the peel from the lemon might be nice because it has a nice um, tweak. Yeah? It is a, a zing. You have, the, you have these um, etheric oils in the peel, in the yellow of the peel. And that is happened to be the most potent nutrients in a citrus fruit. They are in the peel, but they're very strong. You don't need that much. So if you want to have a lemon flavor, you take the yellow of the peel, the zest. If you have the want to have the sour flavor of a lemon, you take the flesh, the juice. Yeah. But both, yeah, the sour and the lemon flavor, they can be nice in small amounts. So I'll do that now. I'll come back in a moment and I'll show you what the flavor of that juice is like in a moment. The juice is done. I have a little bit more than a liter. This is um, most of it. I have some left here. Yeah, it's a small amount, so it's 1.1 liter or so. And it has a wonderful color. The first you see is the color. You know, it is a dark red um, and uh, Bordeaux almost. And that comes if you have the red beet color that is always present when you make a beet juice, always red. It's very strong. And um, you add the greens to it. It turns a very dark, um, deep red, and you can make the most beautiful dark colors with the red and green. Just by the way, I mean, colors are very important in cooking, uh, not only because they're catching our eyes, they do that for a purpose because even now some very um, famous doctors, they say, eat your colors. You know, that means eat a lot of different colors 
um, from the food that is super healthy because colors are also nutrients and they're very potent nutrients by the way. So the color is a, what I would always look first at and then the fragrance comes also very 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 fast and I also uh, of course look the texture. The texture is um, runny, it's a little bit thick, I'm not very thick, not very runny in between. And that's a good thing, you know, juices are usually runny and you can have very runny juice, apple juice for example, or carrot juice, spice, or orange juice are very runny, orange very runny, and if you add like beets for example, it's a little bit thicker, or ripe pears for example, very creamy mango juice, it's thick, you know, different, different kinds of juices also depends a little bit on the juicer you have. And one, one thing in general for a juicer, um, it can be some juicers do not know how to really juice greens on their own. Yeah, greens can be a little different, uh, uh, challenging for some juices, but if you put greens um, and half-half with, with fruit like apple, you know, a little bit of apple, a little bit of green, apple, green into the juicer, then you will, uh, that will work. You cannot juice, many juices do not take greens just on their own. That's a little difficult for some juices. But if you compare it, uh, if you combine it a little bit, you uh, alternate a little bit, that's okay. So that's why um, it's a little bit important to see what kind of produce you juice yeah, to make it, to get it right. Yeah. Usually get along with most of the things if you have uh, different kinds of, of uh, produce in one juice. Now I taste it and um, I didn't taste it before. I'm very excited because I have these wonderful combinations here. In general, but the flavor, I'm super excited about the beet juice in general. The beet has an uh, earth flavor, a very strong earth flavor, and it has a lot of sugar. So if you eat a beet, when you eat a beet on its own, uh, it doesn't taste very sweet. It tastes very strong and it can be very um, even unpleasant. Some people don't like beet at all. Uh, but the thing is, if you put a fruit to it, a sweet sour fruit, like a pear, for example, very sweet fruit, or an orange, like a very sour sweet fruit, all of a sudden, the beet flavor comes out. The, all the sugars from the beet come out of the earth and transform into the most amazing flavors. That's really amazing. You have to try that. And that's why I'm so excited about tasting just this juice. I talked a little, little long about it. But I will taste it now to see what happens. Mmm, mmm, it's all there. I used a little bit of the lemon lemon peel, so it has a has a touch of this strong flavor, this um, etheric oil flavor, very intense, but not too much. Yeah, that's you have you have to find out. I would begin with a small amount, one or two pieces of the peel, small pieces, and then you taste it, and then you can decide if you want to have some more or not, because uh, it can it can become a lot uh, too much in pretty soon without noticing. Sometimes you taste it only you drink the juice, um, a whole juice. And sometimes you think, oh, that tastes nice, and you drink a little bit more, and you think, oh, that's not nice at all. So sometimes you taste um, it a little bit later only. So I would with the peel, I would recommend to be a little bit careful. But this one is a really nice strong flavor. You look at the color and you can already see what kind of flavor that might be. It tastes as it looks. I here show you the juice, what it looks like when it runs into the glass. You see it's beautiful dark color and it's runniness. It's a runny, ru nice runny, creamy and runny juice. Very nice and um, it's very powerful as I said. It's good for a workout. On a fasting day sometimes I run out of energy. Uh, of course, um, I take less calories, less energy, so at a certain point I need more energy. And then the body has to consume its own reserves, its fat for example, and it can take a little time. Sometimes I feel a little bit weak, I don't eat, and then such a juice is really the thing to go to. It gives immediately power. It makes me very happy. <laughs> yeah, and beet juices are great. You have to have a little bit of experience what to put in. Pear is one thing, a little bit of lemon would be perfect, or you can also do beet and orange, it's a good start always, or there are many ways to make beet juice delicious.
but um, this is one a little bit more complex. I have some more ingredients with the parsley and the celery here. That's a very strong green flavors, very healthy of course, and they make this beet juice, this special beet juice, very exciting. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, subscribe and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. And if you want to know more about gentle juice fasting, you can also go on Facebook. There's a, a, a group called Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. That's my yoga style. Uh, Tree Yoga from Yogini Kaleji. She brought it uh, to us uh, in 1980. She was enlightened, I would say. Uh, she creates new uh, sequences every day, flowing through her like a channel. It's amazing. Uh, you're gonna know her. Very nice. <laughs> Very interesting. Fascinating. Um, yeah, and that, that's, that's the name of the Trioga style. The Trioga is the, the, the style where this kind of fasting comes from. That's why I refer to her, uh, because she's the founder of that. She brought us this idea of dental juice fasting, and the group is named Trioga Moon Fasting. And you want to find that group, you can become a member and just um, have these uh, juices once a week. I post them there. Other people are there watching too, or sometimes somebody juices, uh, posts, uh, posts something, you can post there too. And there is a calendar, a fasting calendar, the best fasting days, and so on. You can chat on, uh, along on that on that page if you like. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching again. I hope to see you soon.